एक टुकड़ा गाय सुना Hello, my name is Srijana Dahal and I'm completely blind. I was born in Tunmaya Ruler Municipality, Pathstar District. I pursued a bachelor's degree in arts from Padmakanya College in Kathmandu. I have established myself as a prominent singer on Radio Nepal, showcasing a wide range of contemporary religious and local songs. I have also released several music albums from various studios. There are several reasons why I haven't gotten married. Firstly, I've heard numerous stories about the safety concerns blind women face after marriage. Secondly, an astrologer predicted that my future husband might marry again. Lastly, despite making several attempts, I haven't been successful in securing a job. Hence, I don't want to be a burden to anybody, and that has influenced my decision to remain unmarried. मेरो जन्म बांसगरी नगरपालिका बर्दियामा भएको हो अनि म 10 8 वर्षको हुँदा ज्वरो आएर आई वाज बोर्न इन बांसबारी म्युनिसिपालिटी बर्दिया शिकारु डाक्टरले व्हेन आई वाज 8 इयर्स ओल्ड आई फेल इल एन्ड सो ट्रीटमेन्ट एट द हस्पिटल Unfortunately, a novice doctor treated me, resulting in my blindness. At the age of 10, I began learning Braille at a school in Basbari. I've been residing at Nepal mother's house for the past eight months, where I'm preparing for a teacher's license. I got married in 2013 AD while I was studying in grade 9. The first five years of marriage were nice. After that, my husband later moved to Kathmandu to pursue massage training and became involved with another woman. Later, he started troubling me and our daughter, resorting to verbal and physical abuse. Eventually, he moved to the house of the woman he was having an extramarital affair with in Pokhara. I followed him to Pokhara, where my in-laws were decent, but my husband's brother created issues by approaching me inappropriately. Faced with difficulties, I decided to move to Kathmandu. Following this, the senior members of the Blind Women Association of Nepal suggested that I go to Palpa to work by selling incense sticks. My friends also emphasized the challenges of living alone 
and considering their advice, I made the decision to get remarried. मेरे नाम से राकेश कुमार यादव हो मेरे घर बारा जिला पचरौता नगर पालिका वार्ड नंबर चार में पड़ता आई वॉज बोर्न इन बारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट और चरौता म्यूनिसिपैलिटी फोर सीता संग कसरी कंट्री आई गॉट टू नो सीता थ्रू अ म्यूचुअल फ्रेंड रिजाइडिंग इन द गल्फ आफ्टर एक्सचेंजिंग नंबर्स वी बिगैन टॉकिंग During our conversations, I assured Sita that I would accept both her and her daughter. I expressed my commitment to take care of them, promising never to cause trouble or make her cry. While acknowledging that I might not fulfill all her wishes, I assured her that I would do my best. Eventually, after two to three months of getting to know each other, we decided to start living together. <laughs> My name is Rozita Ayer. I hail from Kailali and my paternal home is in Kanchanpur. In my family there is my mother and father. My mother was also blind. When I was 2 to 3 year old I used to be very playful. Suddenly I stopped playing because of which my family got worried. I used to play with ants because of which I became blind. and my parents came to know about it i got married in 2015 ad The relationship was going well and during that time our daughter was born. However, in 2022 AD, my husband became involved with another woman. Following this, he ceased providing psychological and economic support. My daughter and I faced numerous difficulties for basic survival. We endured verbal abuse and threats of abandonment. I was pregnant with my second child when he left. He became unresponsive, leaving me, my daughter and the unborn child in disarray. Currently, I live with my two children without any financial support, making life challenging. Hello, my name is Sita Subedi. I work as a president at Blind Women Association of Nepal B1. I myself am diagnosed with low vision. We advocate to the government on behalf of blind women and women with disabilities addressing key areas like education, health, employment, social security and human rights. Through B1, we strive to secure the rights of blind women and those with disabilities through a strategic advocacy plan. Acting as a pressure group, 
Our goal is to enhance the capabilities of these women in crucial areas such as education, health, employment, human rights, etc. We push for the creation and implementation of policies at federal, provincial and local levels that are both disability friendly and gender exclusive. To guarantee the safety and well-being of blind women after marriage, it is crucial for families, society and relevant authorities to be responsible and supportive. Apart from that, job opportunities should be provided based on the skills and needs of blind women. To effectively implement these solutions, awareness programs should be conducted in various locations, accompanied by consultations for families and communities. In our efforts to make justice more accessible for women with disabilities, particularly in marriage and socialization, we have been diligently working to challenge and change discriminatory clauses within the civil code. Our aim is to advocate for a code that is both disability friendly and gender exclusive. We also actively engage with local judicial committees to address the specific legal needs of women with disabilities who confront violence and discrimination. B1 is dedicated to supporting these women, especially blind women, by pursuing legal action to address the unique challenges they face in marital contexts.